So today I'm going to be using my creature creation cards. So what we got? We got a red pile, a pink pile, brown pile, cream pile, blue pile, green. Orange, yeah, there's more <laughs> silver, gold, and bronze. Now, I had hoped to expand the amount of cards in each pile, but sadly, due to a certain event, uh, I can't get down to my local hobby craft to get the card colours, and I didn't really want to do a jumble of different colours. So what I've got is what I've got right now, but that's not too bad because I've not touched them for a couple of months. So I actually have forgotten what's in each pile. So it's really going to be very, very random. So the idea is going to be to pick up a card or two or three and then draw whatever the combination comes up as. So I'm going to do a couple of these just to show you how, how it works. So I've got some scrap paper because these aren't going to be neat drawings. These are just going to be really quick, scrappy little um, demo drawings, okay? So let's see. I can't even remember what each subject is. So we'll go one brown. Um, let's go an orange. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to take four. Um, Go for blue and let's go something shiny. Let's go gold. Um, so for the next set, we'll go gold, green, red, orange. Set two. I mean, if you like, sometimes uh, what I do is I'll take a pile do a pick, write down what I'm after, and then put those back into the cards, and then um, that allows me to re-pick things. But this time I'm just gonna do four where I pick absolutely randoms. So I'll do a silver, a cream, um, pink, and a brown. And then we'll do a blue, cream, green, red right so that's my four piles so i can put these ones to the side this sets up four drawings i might have to look up a few of them so the first pile what do we get <laughs> We've got a fox. Oh god, a frogfish. A shoebill. And a harpy. Okay. That's interesting. So for the second batch, I've got a skull, a cobra, a sticky mollock, and a sea slug. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. For the third part, we've got the earth, a Venus flytrap, a moth, and a horse. And for the fourth part, I've got a hornbill, a cactus, <laughs> a snake, and whatever one of those is. <laughs> Right, so that's my four piles. So, okay, fox, right. 
So here we go. This is, like I say, going to be quite rough sketches. So I'll bring it in. there we go that's a very very rough design like i said that's the idea is easy so just getting the ideas down so we've got the harpy element of the wings just add a little bit of shadow under there we've got the fox body and ears the shoe bill we've got that beak because that's really what they're all known about uh then feet we've put into the harpy and the frogfish we've got the tail and a few of the knobbly bits that you find on frogfish they're lumpy fish so the textures in there so that's elements of all of them color wise it could be a golden red from the fox that would go quite well with the gray bill of a shoe bill and maybe some exotic colors on the wings some blues thrown in and uh, the tail could recede into say a gold and that way you'd have the kind of golden yellows of the frogfish. So there you go, putting four random things into one image. So let's try the next one. So we've got Stiggy Moloch, Skull, the Cobra, Sea Slug.
so there you go that's a very very quick one um a little bit lazy on this one so basically what we got is you've got the what i would do is have the sea slug pattern on the body because seriously check out sea slug patterns they are amazing so the whole body would be covered in the patterning and then we got uh the little debris eyes of the sea slug so the eyes would be located up here on stalks but you've still got the defensive bone dome of the stiggy the skull would be skull coloured head so it'd be like a beige head the neck is elongated so a bit like a cobra in fact actually I could add in the thing the cobras are famous for that beautiful hood that they have so we can have a cobra hood just around there so it flares up You've got the long elongated neck the much thinner body very very thin um, a lot of flexation in the lumbar so more snake like movement thin uh, thinner arms powerful hip to take the weight and then a long tail so then the legs if it was swimming the legs would come uh, be able to swing way back and the body would move in that snake like way that makes sense so I've got the sea slug for coloration the cobra for the hood uh, little sharp fangs got to have little sharp fangs haven't you with a cobra the sea slug's eyes and patterns the skull colour of a skull and the stiggy's dome and general skull shape in there and body shape so that's a stiggy a skull a cobra and a sea slug again very very quick rough design just getting an idea down and then i can come back to this and say oh i can take that a bit further i want to see what that's like colored so nice quick simple drawings so this is the whole idea of these little uh, creation cards is that it's a quick get an idea down you don't know what to draw grab a couple of cards and voila you've suddenly got an idea and you might not take it any further but you might so the next set i've got is earth moth venus flytrap and a horse So in this case, my ideas. So the earth, I'm thinking chalk. So I'd have the body 90% white, greys, those sort of colours. And then bringing in extracts of the moth would be the uh, coloration of different moth wings on the back. So uh, like a, almost like a dorsal stripe down the back. And possibly on the legs could change the legs a little bit uh, the head is going to be the venus flytrap with moth eyes and antennae little noses and also a tendril of the venus flytrap plants as the tail and the horse the main body So there you go, another really random one. So I'm using a big mix of things 
and if I wanted to uh, you can link plants in with the earth so perhaps this animal has tendrils that come from the uh, kind of forelocks and such and that for so far so many hours a day it has to be embedded in ground so it has to get nutrients from the earth itself so there we go so I've added a bit more to the story creature number three so on to our last critter so for this one I've got a hornbill, a snake, a cactus, and one of those. Now I'm pretty sure that's a long-necked dinosaur, which is quite hilarious having it with a snake. So, let's see. And there's the idea. So that's a hornbill, cross snake, cross cactus, cross sauropod dinosaur. It's that quick and simple to just come up with something. So that's four creatures. very random creatures made in a few minutes ish by just using the cards to come up with ideas and the nice thing about using inspiration cards is that you can pick as many as you like you could just do two four six you can pick and make as many as you like I'm gonna hopefully make another maybe a hundred of these all different types just to get uh, more inspiration but from these rough sketches and ideas, 
if I get some artist block issues, I can come back, have these in a little folder somewhere and say, I need an idea. I remember that one. I really liked that because of, and just take it from there. And what I do find helps is if you, uh, when you kind of pull the cards, it's just to literally write what the creatures are. And then you've got your list of inspirational words. So, Cobra, Stiggy, Sea Slug. And Skull. Moth. And you see, if you've done, if you've got element, enough elements of the creatures in the drawings, you don't have to look at your cards again. You can just say, "Oh, I remember what that was." Happy. Fish. Fox. And there's so many ways that you can redo them, redesign them. So it's definitely worth having a go. So I hope this has helped inspire you guys to have a go at drawing just random anything and getting creative and using your imaginations. So till next time, all the best and happy drawing to you all.